to the Fit and Fearless Female Show. It's our Monday show that we do every day at 3 p.m. So today's episode is all about food freedom, letting go of guilt about bad habits, and just anything related to food and healthy food and healthy living and, and your body that's anything but positive. So I have some really good info for you today. I'm really excited to get into it. And before we get started, I'm gonna share this on my, in my Body Built by Love group. I'm gonna share it on my uh, business page. And I would love to hear from you. So who's here? Who's joining us? I'm just gonna share this and then we'll get started. We'll get right into it. And yay, I'm pumped. Are you excited? We have a really good topic today. So food freedom is one of those things that um, most people shy away from. And let me give you a little personal story too. So um, with me, I, I'm bringing up this topic because I legitimately, um, I had some weird mindset mentalities that I was having today. And I said, oh my gosh, okay, I have to make this video about this because everybody gets this. Everybody has this experience of just beating themselves up or guilting themselves or thinking something is true when it's not. So this concept of um, telling yourself how it is or believing something is a certain way, um, a lot of times we think something and it couldn't be further from the truth. Has anybody ever experienced that before? I, I can imagine that everybody has been there so many times where you're feeling like the, you think something, I'm, I'm trying to multitask over here, sorry guys. I'm waiting for this to pop up on my phone as me being live. Um, where you're just, you're thinking something is a certain way and it's not. And because you think something is not the, is the opposite of what it really is, then you start to sabotage it from actually happening and you, try, and you just push it away from you having it in your life. And I don't want you to do that. I'm really, I just, I want to be here as a resource to help you reach your goals, do the things you want to do, know how great you are. Um, I'm always seeing the greatness within you. So I just want you to step into that all the time and just know it. And I know this can be one of those things that stops us. So yeah, I'm just super pumped. Um, to talk about it today. Hey, everybody who's just getting here. How are you? It's a little rainy Monday for us in California today. So we're staying inside, keeping warm. We love you too. Aw, thanks, Josh. <laughs> um, okay, I'll give you my personal story in just a minute. Um, it looks like this is just not, it's just not really wanting to, to jump on. Oh, okay. So anyway, we'll just, okay, we're just going to get into it. If it happens to pop up, then I'll get it going later. But for right now, we'll just say it's not meant to be. Okay. So today I woke up and I noticed myself having a consistent thought. That consistent thought was that I, let's see. Wow. That's a, okay. I'm going to put it into the perfect words. Or not the perfect one. See there, I'm trying to make it something that it's not. So I'm being as real with you guys as I possibly can be right now, like super authentic. Um, yeah, so I, I was thinking to myself that I was feeling really unhealthy. And I was feeling really, um, I was telling myself that I was gaining a lot of weight. And I was stressing myself out because my career is teaching people how to maintain a healthy body. So I was like, oh geez, this isn't good. Um, so I started to layer on the guilt and the shame. And I, if you guys know um, my story, I, actually, if you guys don't know my story, I have a long, long, long history of really guilting myself, really shaming myself and beating myself up over who I am and, and all those things almost everybody does um, but I've been able to get the tools to break through that but sometimes it still pops up in a way that's really strong and really heavy and that's what happened to me today so I woke up and I was just like oh man I feel really unhealthy I think I'm gaining a lot of weight all this stuff and 
I really was like convincing myself of this. I was like, I was creating scenarios that would prove that to be true for me. And because that was happening, you know, more and more things just started stacking up and adding up to that being a truth. But honestly, what that really is, is a story. And stories are not always true. In fact, most of the time, most stories that you have about yourself and who you are, are false. How about that? Especially the bad ones, which is good. You can let go of that old story. But anyway, so I started, um, so then what happened was I actually, I don't have a full length mirror in my house. Um, and I saw myself in a full length mirror and I was like, wow, I look like I've lost weight. L even while the whole day I've been telling myself a story about thinking that I was gaining weight. Um, and that's just a, it's just an avenue that our minds use to keep us from our greatness, to keep us from how healthy and successful and everything we think we can be. Uh, we just know that deep down that we're meant for greatness and we're meant to do great things and be great. But when our, our meter in our mind will pop up, it'll tell us, no, you can't have that because look, this. And it starts to tell us lies. So I'm bringing this up because this is something that happens to everybody. Literally everybody this happens to. Um, and some people are better at just pushing it out and bringing in a new story, like taking out their limiting belief and bringing in a new story. Some people are better at that than others. Some people are just starting to uh, open up to this topic. And, you know, if that's you, I'm giving you this personal example of my own personal food freedom story to show you that um, it's a thing. It's a thing and it happens and here's how it works. So it'll pop up and it'll tell you a story and you'll think something about yourself. And then you may continue to believe that and you might continue to prove that story true unless you know how to stop it and just go. So my first thing was I told you guys I don't have a full length mirror in my house. I was in front of a full length mirror and I was like, oh, I look like I've actually lost weight. When the whole day I've been telling myself I thought I was gaining. And so that was my first signal and I was like, wow. Okay, that woke me back up. And I said, I'm telling myself a story and limiting myself. I'm trying to hold myself back from how great I can possibly be. So if you've ever experienced that in your life where you start to tell yourself a negative story that doesn't feel good to you, like when I woke up and I was telling myself that, um, it didn't feel good to me. Like I, I explained earlier, being a health coach and specifically someone who works with women in weight loss, um, that didn't feel like a very good story to have, you know? I was just like, this feels opposing to what I'm supposed to do and who I'm supposed to be and how I'm supposed to help people. But then comes in the second thought, which is, this is so beautiful. I'm so glad this is happening, which was finding the gift in something that felt negative. And I was like, good, this is perfect. This is exactly how the women I work with feel. And now I can have this extra example, this like very present example of what that feels like and what that experience is and how I can help them move through it. So once I got that awareness, then from that space, I was like, oh, I see what's really going on. I see what's really happening here. I'm um, just telling myself a lie to limit myself. And then when that happened, I was like, cool, that's no longer true. And I understand that that's not true. And honestly, guys, if you don't even have that point that you reach where you like, you know, I had that, I actually saw myself and I was like, oh, that's not true. If you don't have that point that, that it really hits you like that, like you keep seeing that it is true, that it is true, that it is true over and over and over again, that's okay. Just know this, you gotta have that moment. And if you're watching this video right now, you're probably watching it on purpose um, because maybe I am your, um, your source to tell you that you are thinking something very untrue about yourself right now. Um, I'm a big believer that we find what we need and when we tune into something that it's supposed to happen, and things like social media 
um, I think are one of the most amazing tools for this. So the whole concept of just stumbling upon somebody's post or stumbling upon somebody's video, I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't believe it's a coincidence at all. Like every post that I see that I come across on social media, I feel like is a direct message to me about something. Um, because gosh, there's so much going on on social media and there's so much going on in the news feed and everything that you're not going to catch everything. You're only going to get certain things into your perspective and where your mindset is right now is what you're going to attract to you. So if you're watching this video right now, there's a really strong chance that I'm here as your signal, as your message that says, here's your awareness. Here's your awareness kicking in that you're telling yourself some untrue stories about your health and your body that are limiting you from actually reaching your full potential. So take that awareness now and don't take it lightly. Don't be like, oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm telling myself a story. Um, I'm a really big believer in writing stuff out. So I'm gonna give you a little thing. Like in all my courses, um, you'll notice that since it's about mindset training and it's restructuring your brain and how you look at things and think about things and see things and perceive the world, um, there's so much writing and it's really powerful. That's where you get a lot of the breakthroughs. So for right now, if you're watching this video, I'm gonna leave you, not leave you, but give you a writing exercise. Um, so just a quick one, nothing crazy, but I would write down how you feel you're limiting yourself and write down this question. Do I feel like I deserve blank, whatever it is, you know, if you're, whatever your health and fitness goal is right now, do you feel like you actually deserve it? Um, and if you don't, then journal, journal a lot, keep writing, just write like crazy, start to understand about yourself, get an awareness towards you and who you are and how you feel and why you feel, why you feel. Um, a lot of people struggle with trying to lose weight, um, or actually keeping it off. And it doesn't have a lot to do with your like drive or your motivation or any of those things, a lot of people, uh, gosh, I hate when I work with um, a woman and she tells me that she is just, there's just something wrong with her or she's just, there's, she's messed up because she can't get motivated or any of that stuff. Oh my gosh, that like, that hurts my heart because I'm like, no, this does not have anything to do with that. This has nothing to do with you not being like motivated or good enough to actually follow through. It's just a matter of your mindset. It's just a matter of the things that you think and how you feel um, and how you act and, and what you believe to be true about the world. A lot of people don't think that they deserve a super fit and super healthy body for a million different reasons. Every, there's so many different reasons why you might feel like you don't deserve it. Um, and you might feel on the surface like, yeah, no, I think I deserve to have a healthy body. I want to have a healthy and fit body and I want to be able to maintain it. But then deep down under the surface, that um, unconscious belief that you have that might be limiting you might be like, yeah, but if I have a fit and healthy body, then this. Like there's some kind of underlying um, pain or something that's not a, a drive for you. A lot of women have a, um, I see this often, but there's many, many reasons, but uh, one of them is that they don't want to be fit and healthy actually because of the attention that they're, they would get and they don't want the attention on them. Um, and that could go super deep again too. I'm just hitting the surface of some of these things, but just open yourself up to the awareness that if you don't have the body or the health that you want right now, that you could potentially be just sabotaging it. You could be limiting it because somewhere deep down you don't believe that you deserve it or you don't believe you can have it or you don't believe it would be a good thing to have it. So that's, that's just the start. And then that's where food guilt stems from. So where I was going with the story that I told you guys earlier was I started to guilt myself and then I noticed I wanted to make a food choice. I was gonna have, um, I food prepped all this chicken and black beans. If you guys saw the, the video I made yesterday, I showed you some of my food prep, 
um, and I wanted to put some organic cheese and organic sour cream on it and I started to beat myself up. This was earlier this morning. I was like, oh, I shouldn't eat that. Um, if I'm gaining weight, I shouldn't eat that. Knowing well in my mind that some organic sour cream and some organic cheese is not going to send me over the edge. But I started to really look at food in that food guilt kind of way. Um, and that sucks. Like, I'm not about food guilt. Like, you deserve to have food freedom, which is the food freedom looks like this. You open your fridge or you go to the grocery store and you say, what do I want to have? And then you eat it. That's food freedom. You can have what you want. And you have an awareness and an understanding of what is healthier. But if you want to have some, I eat burgers and fries all the time. I like to do high quality um, ingredients when I do it, but I totally enjoy that. Um, if somebody is having pizza, I'm not, I don't like eating gluten, but if somebody's having pizza and it looks delicious to me, I'm gonna eat some. There's a lot of times too when people are eating pizza around me and I'm like, I don't want that because I don't want to feel the way that's gonna make me feel after. So. As you can see, there's just different times, but that's food freedom. It's not restricting yourself. It's having the option to have it if you want to have it. And I just, I it just again, it hurts my heart when um, women feel like they're not allowed to have certain things. I that whole idea of like you're out to eat with somebody and somebody's like, oh, that sounds amazing, oh, but I can't have that. I'm, you know, I'm on a diet or I'm trying to lose weight. It's like no. That is so restrictive. When you put negative, guilty, unhappy feelings on your food choices, then you get super restricted, and that's not cool. That is not cool in my book. So I'm gonna read a few questions right now. Um, let's see, Nicole, what's up? Nicole, how you doing? She says, great topic. I have been beating myself up for falling off my health wagon and eating sugar in the last week. Thank God for the 28 day detox. Yeah, girl, we are going to get all of that food guilt, beating yourself up, out the window. You don't need to feel that way. You're perfect. You're doing a great job. Any decision that you've made has happened for a reason. This is the other thing, too. There are a lot of things that go on in our lives, and we have different cravings and different needs at different times. So times when I find myself in a more work heavy, stressed kind of place, I find that I don't feel like working out and I don't always feel like making the healthiest choices. So I'm kind to myself when that happens and I'm like, I'm gonna do a little bit of something, but I'm not gonna push it and I'm not gonna force myself. And if I wanna make food decisions, the worst thing that I could do for myself is put guilt that I can't have something. So I just have it and I make good decisions and I have good healthy habits, but um, it's like, I don't build my, beat myself up, I don't guilt myself because I know that it's a phase. And as I move from that phase into a lower stress, um, easier kind of pace, then I'm gonna feel super motivated to work out. I'm gonna feel super motivated to make healthy choices. And it's an ebb and a flow of life. Um, so. Girlfriend, yes, I'm excited that you are doing the 28 day sugar challenge because it is a good place to love our bodies. Every course I do is based off of the Body Built by Love concept and this is no exception. So you're gonna get a lot of loving thoughts, loving mindsets and ways to have it be okay that, um, that you fell off track. It's okay, you, you're doing a great job. You're doing the best you can with what you've got and that's all that matters. Whitney, what's up, Whitney? Everyone has those days, they're the worst. You know what, Whitney, everybody does have those days, but I'm gonna rephrase that and I'm gonna say they're the best because they teach us so much. Like, these are my biggest learning experiences. These are the times that are a huge gift because I get to understand other women even better. Um, I get to know exactly how somebody is feeling. Um, and a lot of times I feel like it'll happen um, because I'm supposed to be able to relate to somebody specifically. Like a lot of my private coaching clients, sometimes I'll have things happen and then I'll talk to them and see what they're going through and I'll be like, 
Oh, wow, I can give you some deep insight on this now because this is something I just experienced and here's how I moved through it. So super exciting, super, super exciting. Um, when he says, Wisconsin winners uh, always bring my guilt. Lots of alcohol everywhere and fish fries. Yeah, so when the stuff is around, it can really bring on some guilt. Um, but I'll definitely tell you this, that once you give yourself the food freedom, then you feel less inclined to give in to that stuff. Like when I take the guilt off of myself and when I take any kind of feeling of I can't have that, I shouldn't have that, that's not good for me, that's not in alignment with the goals that I want to reach, whenever I have all that on, it feels really heavy and it feels really restrictive and it feels like something that makes me be like a rubber band where I'm like restricted, 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 restricted and then it gets to the point where it's just like, pff, it just snaps and then it's like totally overboard, overeating, binge eating, you know, just too much, too much. So um, I would suggest that you give yourself food freedom when that stuff happens and just be like, if I want to eat it, I'm going to eat it. But um, I know healthier food makes me feel better. So when you take a lot of that guilt off and you say, I can't have that if I want it, um, then you'll find that a lot of times you're going to go, actually, you know what? I don't, I don't want it. Or if you do have it, you'll be like, I'll just have a bite. Uh, but you're not going to feel like eating a ton of it or overeating it or um, going crazy. And then you feel great the next day. Um, even if you just had like a little bit of it, it's, the food guilt thing is really powerful. So y'all can just take the food guilt away and bring on the food freedom. I highly, highly suggest it. What's up, Audra? Hi, I'm glad you're here. Um, no more food guilt. Yeah, girl. So do we follow on here or emails or both? Is that for, is that question about the 28 day sugar challenge, Audra? I think it might be. Um, so we have our own private group for on Facebook for the 28 day sugar challenge. I think you're in it. If you're not, I'll add you after this um, group, but you can add yourself. I sent you an email, which should be in your inbox right now with a link to the course content and a link to the private Facebook group. Um, and that's where it's all going down, going down, going down. And Nicole, thanks for the advice. I seem to be blocked at a certain weight and can't drop below it to reach my ideal weight. Every time I get close to dropping past 135 pounds, I sabotage and eat crap. Can you suggest some mindset work to help me move through it? Wow, yeah, girl. That's something that I have experienced myself. So the second time I tried to lose weight. The first time I lost weight, I lost 30 pounds like that. Super easy, crazy fast. Um, just like, whoa, could it have been that simple? And then I ended up gaining it back from stress and guilt and a bunch of things that happened along the way. And that time I was like, you know what? No, it was so easy last time. I got this. I got this. And then I tried and I couldn't lose it. And I worked out more than ever. And I started eating really, um, unhealthy ways and I had a lot of negative mindsets and negative beliefs and I just could not get that weight to come off and it was super frustrating. So I know how that feels and don't worry because it's actually not as difficult as you think you're making it harder than it needs to be. Uh, I know from personal experience. So a lot of it has to do with your mindset as you noted in your question. Um, but I would say the first thing to start journaling about is Ask yourself this question, why do I feel like I don't deserve to go below 135 pounds? Just see what comes up. Just see what comes up from writing about that um, because it's a, when it gets like that, when it gets to the point where it's like we're really stressing out or here's one too, what would it be like if I removed my, I want to say limits, but um, what would it feel like? if I removed my guilt? Write about that. There's a lot of really good questions you can ask yourself. Um, a course that's really, really ridiculously strong for it is the Body Built by Love course, which is coming up at the end of March. I'm so excited. That is like, ask, ask the ladies who did the last one, ridiculously powerful, like very life transforming um, in a sense of just like, getting your body to a healthy weight through love and through um, good mindset. 
So that's powerful, but start with those questions. Those will be really helpful. Those will get you a lot of answers that you probably weren't realizing you felt. Um, so start there. And let's see, what else is up? So the 28 Day Sugar Challenge started today. I'm so excited. Um, our group's amazing and we're having a lot of fun. Today is, we're just cutting out processed sugars. So um, that hasn't been too hard. It's just um, the temptation. Um, I remember when I did the first sugar challenge, I had a modeling job and they only had these lunches for us that were just, it was super unhealthy and they had like just candies and all that stuff. So there was a lot of temptation there. Um, but I just said, no, I'm good. I've committed to myself that I'm not doing any processed or artificial sugar. So I'd rather just wait until the job is done and I go home or I get something on the way back to do it. So <laughs> um, the lady, the other thing that was happening was the lady who was like um, working with us. She kept saying, like, I brought my own healthy snacks to the to the thing, but they moved our break room, and <laughs> and she kept saying, "Oh, I'll get you the, I'll get you your snacks from your bag uh, on your next break, on your next break." And I was like, "Okay, okay." And every time she came in, I was like, "Oh, did you grab them?" And she's like, "Oh, I forgot." So you know, the whole time went by and I didn't have them. But it's just better to to stick to your guns if that's something that you really want to do. And I did it, and then I got home and. Um, I was gonna get something on the way, but I was like, I don't even need it. You know, you get into that mindset where when you make the decision, it's just like not that hard after you commit to it. So I was just like, whatever. And I just went home and I had a nice healthy meal and it was great. So um, that was my challenge on the first day last time. The other cool thing that's coming up, do cool things. Um, Natural Products Expo is happening in like a week or so and I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be bringing you guys all the best products this year. I'm gonna be scouring the floors, finding really, really good brands for you guys. Um, let me know if there's any like specific products that you wanna know about and I can kind of scope that ahead of time. Like if you're like, oh, granola bars, you know, what kind of granola bars are good? Um, I'll scope it out for you, or if you're like, um, superfoods, you know, what's the best superfood brand, or, you know, just whatever pops up, just let me know. Um, it'll be really fun, and I'll be probably Facebook living a lot from there if they have good Wi-Fi, and I'll be making videos, and I might actually save our product video. I'll think about that. I'll think about that, but I'll just, I'll definitely be live, um, and then next Monday is the 6th, it's my birthday! It's my 30th birthday, so I'm really excited for that too. So that's some of the, the fun stuff that's coming up. Oh, and Liana Warner Gray, she's gonna be here. She's the author of The Earth Diet. She's gonna be going to uh, the Natural Products Expo with us, and we're gonna have so much fun, so you're gonna see her in the videos too. Um, her recipes are the best, so, so good. Um, anyway, if you guys did not sign up for the 28 Day Sugar Challenge and you really want to do it, I left the link up there so you can still sign up if you want to or if you're, you want your friends or family to do it with you, you can still send them the link. It's still on my website right now. I will end up taking it down, but I like to give everybody a, a couple days with the Sugar Challenge to kind of still filter in if they want to just because it's powerful and it's the last time it's ever going to be $20 to do it. So. Um, that's some good stuff. So Nicole says, kombucha. Can you find us best kombuchas? Yes! And that would be so fun. I'm really pumped on that. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> good, good suggestion. Um, I have a personal favorite right now, which is healthy, but we'll see what brands they have at the expo that might be a little bit better. We'll see. Health Aid might still reign, reign supreme. Health Aid Cayenne Cleanse is my favorite. And Josh and I go and get kombucha every time we want to celebrate something, which is like every day. So this morning we went out to Whole Foods and we got, they have kombucha on tap, the healthy grape. So we got that one. Mm, so good, so good. Um, we were celebrating the first day of the 28 day sugar challenge, which you guys should celebrate too. But anyway, before this video gets too long, <laughs> which it might have already done, I'm gonna go, but I hope all the info was really helpful for you. I'm glad I got to share that personal experience with you today 
and you can share this video on your page, share it with friends and family that you think it could help. Um, find me on Instagram, YouTube, and join my private Facebook group, Body Built by Love. It's a free group. I post in there every day, just lots of motivating and inspiring things. So join it if you're not already in there, and just have an amazing, healthy, awesome day, and know that you deserve the best, and that great things are gonna happen to you, and you deserve to be fit and healthy, um, and you can have it. Just know that you can have that. Um, it's for you. It's definitely for you. Okay, love you guys. See you next Monday at three.